Zen 7000. We're going to take you through it from start to finish. We're going to start off by entering patient data, show you how to do that, and then we're going to show you some of the touch uh, screen display and the C arm, and then we'll take you through all the movements and the images. Mikey? Some of the basic movements here. Everything's pretty much the same as an OEC 9600, 9800. Uh, one of the differences you're going to have 45 degrees over scan. The only thing mechanical will be this vertical lift. And everything else you move by hand. Okay? Looking at the touch screen monitor here, this is where your technician is going to handle all the uh, movements of the system. You have your technique, your floral timer, okay, your save button, normal floral, pulsed floral, and a rad shot. Okay. So your mag modes, your nine inch field, six inch field, four and a half. Auto histo stays on so the image stabilizes. And then you'll have your ABS tables, hand, chest, spine, and extremities. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a shot here. So take a shot, and if you want to get a close-up to see the image quality. You can see the image quality, very, very clear, very, very crisp. Now, if you save this, will it put it on the uh, Yeah, on it'll the push screen? it over. So we'll, we'll save that. We didn't register a patient yet. Let, let's show them how to register okay. a patient. So registering a patient, you have your exposure tab, new patient, patient name. You could put the patient ID, birth date, all this other information. So we're going to go ahead and register the patient. Now you're ready to take your images and save them. And you can save as many images as you want to whatever particular patient. It's very easy to get the images on and off this system. You have USB ports. Okay, so we have a saved image. So, so we have the capability of 200,000 images on the system where you can put in a USB stick here to save images, download onto a computer. You also have a CD-ROM you can burn onto a CD. And it also has DICOM built in. You can send directly to your PAC system. Okay. So we'll go ahead and save a couple images here. So you could save it here on the touch screen. You could save it on the foot pedal. And you could save it on the workstation. Okay, we'll go ahead and save a couple images. Okay, now we'll move to Mag 1 or the 6 inch field. Get a better close up there. Save that. So we. Now, this will be your camera rotation and your image orientation. So I could flip this image for whatever orientation you prefer. In rotating the camera, rotating it to the right, to the left. Okay, if you guys are interested in collimating down, here's your collimator. This will be your leafing collimator. And what's important to see is you have your preview lines here on the display, which will limit the exposure to your patient. So I know where my leafs are at. Okay, that's your iris collimator. Backing it out. Now bringing in the leafing collimator. If you want to focus strictly on the spine. backs everything out and back to your original image. Here's negate. These are, the, these are all the vascular functions. The yeah, these are all the vascular functions here. Yeah. So you click on this tab here, the A+. You have your subtraction and road mapping. Okay. 
I would take an image, but it's not friendly to the cadaver. It won't show up. Okay. The subtracted image. So, and you could do cine runs. So if I come here, click on cine, start taking an image. So I'll rotate it so we could see some movement. And then I let off and it's going to play your cine run. And automatically save it to the patient. Okay? So when I come back to the workstation here, once I'm done with the patient, save and close the file. At the end of the day, or if I want to push everything to your PAC system, search the patient from today. Here's our test patient. And you see our two static images and our live cine run. And I would click, I would highlight all of these and export it to a USB drive or send it just straight to their PAC system through, through DICOM. Else you want to do, you want to do a lateral shot? Yeah, we can look at the lateral shot. shot. density of the anatomy is so thick that you're going to use this boost function here. So if I take an image in normal floral, still a little bit grainy, I will press this button here, which will put it in boost mode. So it's adding more MA into the that equation. Will double the MA output of the system. Yeah, it adds more MA to the equation and it clears up any grainy images. Obviously this cadaver does not need boost. So that's in normal mode. This is normal. Boost mode for patient. If you have a heavier, heavier patient, patient. Yeah. or going through the shoulders or something lateral. Okay. So. This this okay. can be used on either side of the system. It can be brought over here. Technician is on this side, or it can be brought on this side. Also has a hand wand if they they want to do an exposure with the hand wand. 